Hi friends, hope you are doing well. Today I will explain the basic principle of two main weapons of PyTest framework. They are the fixtures and hooks. These are the two main thing which is uh, making PyTest able to do this awesome task. So I have why I am creating this video is because I have seen many online resources where people used to show a solution to address a particular problem with PyTest framework. Like the problem is uh, how can we access command line option by PyTest framework? Well, I'm going to execute a uh, test execution when I am going to execute test using pytest framework how can i take command line option so the problem and the solution is shown in such a way that is you, you, can, you cannot understand that um, what is happening in, in behind it seems like uh, there is some magic in, in there but the problem has been solved with that solution so the main care many cases what is happens we have to remember that uh, what is the solution for this problem without understanding it clearly so considering this uh, experience at my learning phase here I will explain the basic principle of these two main weapons of PyTest. First of all, uh, here I will use this diagram to explain this working principle. First, I will explain the fixture. Fixture, I think you many of you know that fixture is a um, function uh, which is decorated by PyTest.fixture. And fixture has a default scope which is a test function although the it may have a scope of module test cases and session however i want to stick into the um, into the scope of test function uh, just to um, keep this thing and simple and just at, uh, just to uh, make your concept clear how a fixture works how a fixture is uh, different from normal function it's a function but it's a, it's different than functions that's why we are using fixture right so fixture can be defined in many multiple places i will explain that where what is the suitable most suitable location to define fixture however so we have defined fixture then how it get used by pytest framework how it's get activated by pytest framework to activate a fixture having scope of function we have to mention the fixture name into the test case parameter so we have a fixture is fixture one and this is the test case one is using those fixture that fixture so I am uh, taking fixture one as a parameter of this test function now while this test function will be executed by pytest framework it will get this fixture name into its parameter so it will be executing this fixture function automatically by the pytest framework we do not need to execute the fixture manually this is the difference in between normal functions and fixtures and the return value will be stored into the fixture one variable which is uh, which is being which, which can be used inside the uh, test case so here you can see i have uh, tried a bare minimum code to just to show you that uh, i have created a browser driver and store into this variable i'm return this variable it's actually here i have written this yield statement 
I will explain what is the why of return is way. So it's a which one type of return, but not actually return. If you have idea of Python generator, you can understand. So uh, this is a yield. It's yielding the variable one, and variable one is actually browser driver. So fixture one using this fixture one, uh, it, it's actually storing the browser driver which is created by this fixture function in the browser driver we can use this dot title to get the title of the uh, website it is open for the fixture one it's uh, as you know it's string driver so we get the get function and i executed the assert statement so here fixture can be activated using the fixture name as a parameter of test case and here to explain this yield statement fixture may have two portion the statements written above the yield statement or including the yield statement are executed before the execution of the test okay and the test and the statements which is written after the yield statement will be executed after the execution execution of the test case as the scope of the fixture i am using its function so the statement i, I was just just uh, explaining it's correct because uh, 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 uh the the upper portion will be executed just before the test execution test case execution and after the execution in case of other uh, scope then uh, it may be say it's it is a module level scope in that case the fixture will be executed before the execution of any test cases inside that module so i'm not going to explain that part uh, here but i think you have some idea that how fixture works and why fixture can be defined fixture can be defined inside uh, test class inside test module here yeah, I am working uh, with a test module so I can I am going to write like if this is a test module if this is a don't know what happened so if this is a test module in that case uh, and the test case is inside the test module if i define a fixture inside the test module that test module can be accessed by all the test case inside the same module right however if the scenario is like i have multiple modules having multiple test cases and uh, module 1 module 2 and module 3 and all the test case of all modules but or, or, uh, or most of the test cases or few of the test cases of all the modules access this access a particular fixture then the problem is if i define the fixture into particular module that fixture cannot be used by other uh, by the test case which is located inside another modules so i have to redefine the test redefine the fixture in all the modules that will that will force me to do duplicate coding so to avoid that situation we can write a fixture inside contest.py file which is located at the parent directory of those module okay or parent package the 
the modules 1 2 and 3 is located in so in a particular package so you have to define that contest.py file contest.py file inside that package and there you can define that fixture then that fixture can be utilized by all the test cases of all those modules which are located at that particular package so i'm going to stop here with fixture and move to hooks to explain hooks we need to use two terms one is hook specification another one is hook implementation hook specification is a is a, a specification which is uh, which is maintained by pytest uh, framework okay that says that uh, this hook functions which hook functions will be executed at what time of test execution or what stage of test execution okay and in each hooks hook specification it is mentioned that now uh, when that will get executed and what are the parameter it can take and its signatures so this is the hook specification and next phase is hook implementation hook implementation is actually we define define hook functions inside any type of plugins plugins may be built-in plugins external plugins and contest.py file which is actually a directory specific plugins so any of those plugins we can implement the hooks function hook function follows the hook specification okay and it do not need to follow fully signature specification full signature specifications here yeah, while it is going to implement a hook function so this get here yeah, the pytest add option is actually a hook and here i have implemented that pytest add option function and as per the hook specification it may take parser and plugin manager and here i have used only parse that that is supported by pytest remote that's the good thing so here i have implemented that uh, uh, that pytest uh, hook hook function and that hook function will be executed as per its specification will be executed at the very beginning of test execution when we are going to execute the pytest command from command line and once it's executed it takes the browser options value okay and stored into stored into request dot config object right you can see this uh, whatever i'm saying in many of the example so i'm not going to rewrite those function at here again so so this is the this is the add option function and we in case of inside a contest.py file we used to write another fixture where we take a request as a met, as a parameter and using the request.config get option we can get the option which is stored by pytest add option and that browser driver or browser type can be returned or based on the browser type, browser type we can create a browser driver and we can yield that browser driver for uh, to be used by the test case which is calling this fixture right
So this is the example we used to see in general. But I am sure that many of you think this pi test add option is just a normal function. And uh, sometimes it's maybe surprising that why this parse why this parse always they are using this parse parameter why we are not using any other parameters it's because parse is actually an internally defined object inside pytest framework and uh, that's need to be used as per the pytest framework uh, as per the uh, pytest hook specification so that's why it is uh, it is defined in this way and uh, how it works it is it works because uh, pytest framework has specifically mentioned that this functions this hook function should be executed at the very beginning while pytest while content uh, sorry pytest command is being executed from cli I think it's all. I hope you can understand. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.